Yeah, nobody asked me for practice, man. Am I too bad? Am I too shit? Why does nobody want to practice with me? In fact, tell a lie. Two people have messaged me about practice. Two. That's it. Good luck. Have fun. Do you know who they are? BCQT and Marine Lord. I have to ask everybody else for practice. It's ridiculous. Oh, Salami messages me, but he mainly talks about elephants. Actually, I watched a show that reminded me of you, Salami. It was called The Extraordinary Attorney Wu. Is what it was called? Do you know what it was about? Well, about an extraordinary attorney, which you might be like, fuck yeah. But... This girl couldn't stop talking about fucking whales. Which kind of reminds me of you, about you and your elephants. BC said I'm up too early for him. Yeah, it's, it's tough, it's tough. I'm a, uh, I'm an early morning guy. Which makes me a bit difficult, I guess, for a lot of the, uh... The D gens. Like recon? Before his match against, uh, before his uh, bracket, I was like, hey, let me know if you want some practice. Silence. In fact, he still hasn't responded. Yeah, if I have to practice with Marine Lord, it's kind of rough, man. Like, I already spend the other half my day with my child. And I have to sp spend the other half of the day with another child, aka Marine Lord. It's tough. It's tough. I'm curious. Is it even worth going, um... Is it even worth getting, uh... Thingy-Majogger? A second TC in this matchup? Probably is, but... I mean, it's usually always worth. The other landmark for Malians, it's a trade landmark, which is good for trade, for sure. But it's, um... It's definitely a, hey, we're going to trade <laughs> kind of thing. It's, uh... It's not good for anything else besides trading, which... You know, uh, solo right now with trade isn't really the easiest thing to do or get away with, unless your opponent's a, a pleb. So he went double. So it can kill my shit, obviously, but we can also say to ourselves, all right. Those scouts actually only deal one damage per hit, so it's not the worst thing in the world. The main sucky thing here is the repair cost, I suppose. No stone. Actually, it might have been worth just losing it. I'm not sure. It's costing me a lot. 
Oh, okay, you did go for warrior scouts. Okay, 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 that's cool. Now we know. Now we know. He tried to plonk it uh, here to block me from being able to build. Which I think was kind of a cool idea. So right now, we're in a, we're in a fairly fun position, I would say. His scouts, if they find my scout, my scout's dead. Super dead, so. Also, I can't put up a... Um, I can't put up a second pit at this very moment in time because he has the uh, scouts. You go and kill it. So maybe that is a powerful thing in general. But we have this expo now, which is good. Get the increased wood gathering. Yeah, the fact that these guy, this scout has stayed alive to remain just that, a scout, has been quite nice for us. So where's some other golds? I mean, this gold's pretty damn close. Can you use the other to trade for stone to get your tea? So it's uh, not a market. It's um, it's not a market. It acts like a toll booth kind of thing. So like um. So as you trade with it, as you trade with it, you get slightly more resources the more it gets passed by. Oh, we don't need that one yet. So it's, it's a bit strange. There's a lot of dudes on Beres. I'm just going to do this kind of thing for now. We'll get, uh... That's a lot of archers. Cool. <laughs> ah, pro scouts. Cool. I wasn't expecting pro scouts, but I think that's a cool idea. It fits into the uh intended news. Intended news. Ernende mean Where's the Hala? Fits in with the warrior scouts, like they're just on the map, they're powerful, they can kind of defend themselves. I think that's all quite fun. Look at what they're facing. And I place it yourself. Definitely going to be a lot of food for him. That'll be my next gold mine. Yeah, I 
Plonk it like that. Okay, okay. So we're out of sheep here. Getting some nice cow income. Good tab. Because we're getting so much gold income, we can kind of just say to ourselves, all right, all right, let's keep on making cows for the time being. And soon we'll get a tech up flowing, I think is what we'll say to ourselves. How cows actually work, so every cow that you put in a cattle ranch, you get 28 food per minute. Which isn't um, a, a, a gazillion or anything like that, you know, it's fairly modest. Okay, so he's uh, on castle now. Nice and quick by him. Oh, that's a lot of a lot of dudes. I wonder if he's going to be utilizing the bugged version of them. That'd be powerful. And by bugged version, I mean the extra health regen on them. Would be lame, but it's viable. For the time being. Yeah, got myself into a little bit of a pickle here. So I guess one of the big worrisome things for me is what about if he goes into uh, Manganella or something? But we'll see, we'll see. 
We are going to be getting a lot of mining going. Stone mining at that. And we'll kind of protect ourselves, I think. So I do have to be careful. Because of that. So that's where I was setting up my next wall, isn't it? So he has multiple armor upgrades uh, for range, which is uh, indeed powerful. We'll put that out there, and we'll, uh... Oh, well, hello. I think we'll start setting ourselves up with some, like, forward-ish keep. Bloody exploiter. Use scouts with a bugged regen. No, no, Castle Age is bugged. Yeah, yeah, you can see. So they they have like seven health uh, regen per second in um, Castle Age, which is you know pretty busted, pretty busted. Yeah, I th I thought when you were making the scouts, I was like, you're gonna stop at the feudal age, right? Right? Is that base? That's their baseline regen. So it's it's a bit bugged at the moment. <laughs> 